What's going on guys? Today we're going to be installing the Mark 6 Jetta hood strut kit. Alright, well let's get started. Basically what you're going to need is, a, or what's included in the kit is a gas strut, two lock nuts, a hex nut, flat washer, ball adapter long, ball adapter short, self drilling screws, two of them, an L bracket, a Z bracket, and that's about it. What you're going to need to do this installation is or are pliers, 13 millimeter wrench, 13 millimeter socket, T30 Torx pick tool, and a driller impact driver for creating your own holes. Basically, basically what you're going to want to do is start off by removing, according to USP, is the T30 torque screw located on the passenger side fender tab. You're going to want to remove that and then remove the foam on the fender beside the T30 torque screw. Set that to the side. I've already went ahead and removed it and I self drilled those two, two holes. I'll get to that in a bit. Basically remove that. On my car it actually it's actually not a a T30 Torx screw. It's uh hold on. It's a it's actually a ten millimeter bolt, nut, whatever. I just use this to remove it. Fits in perfectly. Nowhere near a torque screw though. Once you do that, next what you're gonna to wanna to do is with the screw removed, slightly bend the fender tab downwards so the material over the hanging bracket sits flush next to the mounting bracket. You can use a pair of pliers which can be used to bend the tab downwards. Basically, this right here needs to sit flush. So I'm gonna do that right now. Once you've got that done, you're going to want to get your Z bracket, install the short ball pin adapter, the lock nut, everything on the Z bracket as you can see it looks like a Z, just like that. And then with the previous screw you used the OEM one you used to take off and get your Z bracket. Line it up with your two self drilling holes.
that sits pretty flush. You're going to want to install the two self-drilling screws. Obviously, you can create your own, your own holes. Then install the two self-drilling screws using a 8 millimeter socket on a drill or an impact driver. After installing the bracket, the foam previously removed can be installed from step one. Should be good. So once you're done with that, it should basically look like that. The OEM and then the two self-drilling ones. And then you got your short ball right there installed. Should sit exactly like that. If not better than this. Next going to, to want to remove your lower 13 millimeter bolt securing the hood hinge to the hood right here not this one but the lower one once you've done that you're going to want to st install the L bracket with the included hex nut. Hex nut being this right here to basically install this with the included hex nut. You can go ahead and throw away the the old old bolt you used to hold up that hood hinge and reuse the one they give you. And then be sure the bracket sits parallel to the hood hinge once the bracket has been installed. Install and tie it in the long ball pin adapter, the flat washer, and the remaining lock nut. So I'm going to go ahead and do all that right now. Should look like this. Shit. And then you're gonna want to install the long ball pin adapter right there. That should look like that. And that should look like that. Next. On the gas strut. We're going 
going to want to remove the two retaining clips on both sides of the gas strut. Basically, I already removed them, but here I'll put them back for y'all. Basically, it sits like that, that little clip. What you're going to want to do is have a pair of tweezers here. You're going to want to push the clip clockwise. Clockwise like that, and then it sits in there like that, and so the loop is no longer engaged on the strut body, and then pull the clip toward the strut body to remove the clip. And there's the clip. You don't want to do that for both sides as well. Next, you're going to want to install the strut onto the Z bracket and then the L bracket. Should clip in. Should be a noise. Like that. Clip in. Clip in. Just like that. Make sure you hear that clip or else it's not correctly clipped in, put in, whatever. Then reinstall the retaining clips on both ends of the strut in the reverse order that you took them off. Basically once you install those two retaining clips, this is optional. Hold on, do make sure you install. Not a necessity, but just so it looks complete on both sides, reinstall the foam. And then I already did this, but basically, if you want, you can remove the factory hood prop, which sits right here. Basically what you do is turn it toward the driver's side of the car, rotating clockwise, then just pull outwards. Pops out like nothing. Here it is. Old one. And then, if you want to remove the the orange hood prop retainer, basically the orange thing that clips in to the hood prop, basically what you do by that is, let me get it right here. Sits right here. And there's a little pin right there. You basically get a. Hold on. Get some sort of small pick tool. And what it does, you just push down right in there, and this thing slides out right there. But when it is sitting on the the hood, make sure to keep your Put your hand underneath the radiator support to catch the pin as you do push it. Just like so, pops right out. 
and then once the pin has been removed the retainer can be pulled out and there you go clean install and that's basically it I do still need to install the the one clip that did fall underneath there this one came on just fine as you can see this one I do need to get to right now but that's basically it If y'all have any questions, let me know. If y'all have any questions about the intake that we previously did a couple vids on, or one video, and then I'm going to be installing the fog lamps, fog lights, whatever. I do have the set, I'm just waiting on a couple bulbs, the yellow tint, a couple other things, and everything should be good to go. Hopefully I'll make a video for that install as well. Just remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. All right, so basically for those who are interested in how it works, gas strut, hood struts over there. Just like the, the golfs, they all have that one on the I believe it's the Mark 5s and the Mark 6s and now the Mark 7s all have that hood strut. For some reason, Volkswagen decided to go cheap with the Jetta. I also decided to go cheap with the battery cover, the stupid felt one. That's basically how it works. I mean, it works really well. No problems at all so far. There it is again. Don't got don't have to put much pressure, just barely lift it up and there you go. Does everything on its own. And yeah, that's basically it guys.